Trial Alliance TV. We're here with Ironman Tim Franklin and Cal uh, at the long distance camp at Noosa just before Cairns. Firstly, gents, you're the reigning 2013 Bromance Award winners. How did it feel to win such a prestigious award? You can feel this one, Woody? Um, yeah, it was good. Um, there was a lot of contenders for the award. Uh, and uh, it was pretty exciting to get up there on the stage and uh, have this union recognised. <laughs> How did this bromance start, gentlemen? Um, probably about four years ago now. I think we we uh, we worked together at the same law firm, and Cal wanted to get involved in triathlon, so um, he knew that I did it. We worked on different floors, but he came down and said, "What squad are you involved in?" and um, Try lights, and then he was in the pool the next week and blossomed from, from there. there. I think, um, in terms of our training together, it really started yeah, around Gold Coast Marathon 2012. 2012, yeah. Yep. Um, and essentially, we were both doing the marathon and sort of had some pretty similar ideas on training and. Uh, it wasn't really anything that was particularly planned as such, but uh, it seemed to work pretty well, so, yeah. So on the serious side, leading into Cairns now, we understand you boys do a lot of training together. Um, you know, what are the benefits of, of having somebody side by side to do the training with? I think ultimately, having um, someone that you report to, um, so you're not just getting up by yourself and getting out there, but you are, responsible to someone else mm -hmm. so you don't want to leave them hanging at 4.30 in the morning so it pushes you to get up and get going first and foremost and then I mean the amount of emails that we'd send each other just bouncing ideas off probably more so Cal sending me ridiculous things <laughs> and me just just pushing back on it somewhat and saying Cal that's ridiculous <laughs> well, um, yeah it look it, it it's about that you sort of come up with ideas and it's like a uh, bit of a melting pot. Yeah, if you, I, I'm a big believer in, in all things in life that if you have two people uh, with different points of views looking at the same issue, then you're going to um, get to the best results at the end of the day um, because you get the benefits of sort of testing the different ideas. So often I'll tell Franklin, um, you know, let's do this on the weekend, he might have differing views, and then we go back and forth a few times and um, essentially get to a, a good program. <clears throat> Understand, uh, like a Fernvale ride is something that you two have sort of worked out between yourselves and is now a sort of regular pattern. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? Um, we actually found it uh, online. Um, someone else had done it, and then, then you can put your Garmin data in, and, and we came up with it, and I think the first time we did it uh, was, about 18 months ago or something like that yeah. and we had no idea where we were going and I had the um, directions printed out and shoved down the back pocket and we were near the end coming into the Mogul area <laughs> and I said um, I'm not sure here Cal I think it's a right but it, it could be a left I'm not sure Cal's like nah just go with it it's a right I'm confident <laughs> yeah yeah and I'm like oh okay ended up adding about 25 click to it it yeah. was the wrong way and we ran out of gels no water yeah. it was horrible how far is the ride for people that don't understand a Fernvale ride? It's 150 k's, but uh, the first two and a half hours is uphill. You get tired. There's crappy roads, um, some fast sections, and a lot of hills to finish off with. Um, essentially, what I think the benefit of the ride and why we do it so often is that it really recreates the fatigue that you experience at the end of an Ironman ride. Um, and the first time we did it, I was that stuffed. It, it felt exactly the same as when I did my first Ironman ride. So, um, and so I went back to it, wanted to do it over and over again until that felt easy. Uh, and since doing that, that's made the um, picked up the 180k Ironman ride a lot. Seems your training works for you guys. You've um, you train very hard, but history says you get pretty good results. What any sort of major plans for Cairns this year that you'd like to share or goals? Well, I'll throw it out there and I'll throw it out there on Cal's behalf as well um, as his mentor. Um, Cal's going to Kona <laughs> this year, uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, and mine is to have the big fella in sight come the end, I think. Yeah. There you go. That, that's um, obviously been a long-term goal for a while. 
Um, so I'd like to nail down a qualification there and um, and really aiming to get on the podium there as well. Well, you boys train hard, you get good results. I uh, understand you also party pretty hard once the hard work's done. Uh, it's vicious rumours. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm usually tucked up in bed by about 2100. <laughs> A couple of light beers, maybe, but... Uh, there has been some talk about Monday night partying in Cairns. Is that just a rumour as well, after the event? Uh, it depends what the talk is, but have to uh, know these allegations before you can speak to them. I also do believe there's photos of Tim Franklin drinking rum and coke at about 9 o'clock the day after the Ironman yeah, last year. Will I that be replicated? Yeah, I think it was quarter past seven. I think your um, sugar levels were low, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying, yeah. Uh, it was all about uh, recovery. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, look, yeah, it's a sport that is very taxing. You make a lot of sacrifices, and one of them is obviously, uh, you know, spending time out with your mates and drinking beers and that sort of thing. Um, so in the off season, we certainly like to catch up with some mates, and um, yeah, it's sort of part of the parcel, really, in the in the downtime. All right, gentlemen. Well, look, good luck with your goals up in Cairns. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Do you think you'll be able to defend your hotly contested title of Bromance Award winners this year? Nah, mate. Uh, Mick, Ryan, and Christian are all over that. Yeah, I'd say uh, <laughs> yeah, Seymour and Ryan. Yeah. Or well, the Maestro. <laughs> probably have it. Uh, probably have that one pretty well covered. I'd suggest. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. Good luck in Cairns. Thanks, thanks mate. mate.